Hey, SF. What's going on? Hope you're doing well. Ricardo here with my Amazon guy, and I was browsing through some products in your category, and I came across your brand, Magnifico. Um, and first and foremost, congrats on over 1,500 ratings, 4.3 stars out of 5. You guys have an Amazon's Choice badge. So, hey, virtual high five. Pat yourselves on the back. You guys are doing an amazing job there. Um, but one of my jobs here as a as an account executive, SF, is to look for and find potential opportunities with sellers who prioritize Amazon. And I took a good look at your listing and I identified some opportunities for growth and improvement that can not only make this listing perform better, but actually sell better for you. So, you know, if it's okay with you, I'd like to show, uh, I'd like to share those with you. And, you know, it's not going to take a long time. It's going to take a few minutes. Let me get right to it for you. Okay. So if we go over here, we'll take a look at your keyword distribution. Looks like you have 989 sponsored keywords and 2,600 organic ones. Okay. Now, right off the bat, I can definitely tell you that we definitely want to get this this number uh, these numbers up, um, especially sponsor. But talking about organic keywords, we normally want to get that to at least you know four to six k, and then uh, sponsor keywords probably around around uh, a little less because normally we like to see a one to two ratio. So for every sponsor keyword that you have, you want to have two organic keywords. The reason is because SEO and PPC work very synergistically, so they work in tandem. So you can't just have one or the other. You want to have both for for you know for an ideal account health. So just to illustrate that point for you, if I sort by highest search volume here, right, you'll see that for hair dryer you're ranking 230, right. So you're not being seen basically, and then for blow dryer 243, Revlon that's that's a different brand, uh, hair dryer brush which is actually in your title, right, hair dryer brush. You're ranking 147 organic and you're paying num uh, you're sponsored at number 21. So right now, from, from what I can see here is there's a lot of wasted ad, ad spend. So as you can see, for blush blow dryer, you're ranking 144, but you're ranking uh, and you're excuse me, you're ranking organically for 144 and sponsored you're 64. So you're basically paying to not be seen, okay? Because no, no one scrolls through 64 different items, just to, especially for a hairbrush dryer, right? So right now, from what I can see, there's a lot of wasted ad spend. So that's definitely something that we would focus on because once you eliminate wasted ad spend, you're profitable instantly, right? You're more profitable instantly. So that's that's some food for thought there. Now, I grabbed the, the keyword for hair dryer brush, and I see that they have a search volume of 38,000 visitors a month, right? 8.6 million dollars this keyword is generating within the next 30 days on amazon so this is what's up for grabs so right now you're for for this same keyword as you can see here hair dryer brush you're 147 you're ranking organically for number 21 and, and sponsored excuse me 147 organically 21 and sponsored so you can imagine if, if we get that 147 to within the top 10 like imagine how much more of this buy you could be getting right and that's actually a very, very realistic scenario, by the way. I'm not hyperbolizing anything. So when we go over here, I want to show you something. I looked up one of your competitors, and I'm not trying to compare your product or anything like that. That's not what I'm looking to do because um, I know it's also a different price point. But I want to show you their SEO and, and, and PPC strategy. So as you can see here, they have 928 sponsored keywords, but they have over 6,000 organic keywords. Now, they're focusing a lot more on their SEO rather than their PPC which is great for you because you can come in and knock it out of the park. But that's besides the point right now. As you can see, their organic ranking is number one on everything, right? And this is why they're selling like they are, you know, because their, their organics are in point. So just some food for thought there. I want to show you, um, move on from your competition. I want to show you something here. If we go to ranks 20 to 50, it's going to show us all the keywords that you're ranking on spots 20 through 50. So as you can see, you have 346 keywords. So right now, I can tell you that you're not really benefiting from any of these rankings right here because you're ranking too low, 43, 37, 27, 49. So instead of you ranking for all those uh, those keywords, what we would focus on is on lifting you up in the ranks. So instead of ranking for these uh, ranks right now, you're ranking within the top 10 for all of these keywords, right? And your overall account health, SEO, goes up and it gets a lift, okay? Because, yeah, right now you're 43 for Cepillo or Blonde. That's in Spanish, Cepillo, Dyson, Hair Wrap, 
all of these keywords are relevant to your to your to your product but you're ranking way too low so that's just some food for thought there and i want to show you something here if we go i want to go to your listing photos and i love the fact that you have you know, beautifully designed images their own brand everything's great the videos perfect um your listing title your listing title has 105 characters you definitely want to get that up to 200 um because you know your listing title is one of the most important spots that amazon looks at when it's looking at your listing so you definitely definitely want to have that optimized as much as possible same with your uh, bullet points on here so you have up to five different bullet points 250 characters for each bullet point um right now it looks like you're using about maybe 50 to 60. so you definitely want to improve that and looking at your a plus content i love your a plus content high quality imagery very useful very helpful very communicative but you're missing out on a lot of opportunity by not including the uh the crawlable text and the from the brand section so if we take a look over here uh this is Stephen pope's listing he's the founder of our company i just want to show you i know this has nothing to do with your product i just want to show you what a well optimized listing looks like so as you can see over 300 uh, 200 characters on the listing title fully optimized fully optimized bullet points, right? Emojis, just to add some personality. And then we go to the, from the brand section, this is what's called the brand story. This is where you can put your, you know, where you guys are from, uh, where the brand started, who started the company, that kind of thing, just to educate customers on your brand and, and have that connection. Because I feel like with your product, your product is a commodity, right? So you want to think about it in terms of brand, right? You want to focus on branding because you know, there's millions of, you know, hairbrush drivers out there. So you, on, in, in your specific category, you want to focus on brands. So I, I, I feel like there's a lot of work to be done in terms of branding. I feel like it can definitely be strengthened and it can definitely be more, um, you can, you can communicate that more to the customer. And as you can see here, uh, he is using that very beautifully. He's cross-selling different products. He's increasing his average order value. He's answering questions about the brand. And look, he's showing the pictures here, crawlable text, additional uh, ranking terms. So as you can see, very, very well optimized listing. Now, uh, take, let me take a look at your alt text here. Yeah, you can have up to 100 characters of alt text. I think it just went out, there we go, there we go. So right now, see, you have blow dryer, you have brush hair dryers for women. So you can have up to 100, so you can you can definitely add more relevant terms into maybe around right here. So you have a lot of space that you're leaving. So Asaf, hopefully hopefully um, this has been helpful. I don't wanna to take too much of your time. It's not just one or two of these things that are gonna make the difference. It's when you put all of these things together, that's when you start seeing the difference. That's when you start seeing the sales, the revenue, and the profit in, in your bottom line, okay? When you focus on everything in a holistic way, that's when you start seeing the benefits. And that's exactly what we do here, my Amazon guy. We focus on holistically making sure that your account is up to par and it's uh, it has a, a very high level of health. And here we work with over 250 brands, over $300 million a year in revenue. So we know exactly what we're doing. Now, uh, as far as your brand, I see a lot of growth potential. I see a lot of opportunity that's not being taken advantage of. So I definitely would love to sit down and have a chat with you. Um, you know, so we can discuss different growth strategies or different tips and, and, and things that, 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 you know, that we might be able to help you with in order for your brand to not only perform better, but sell better. So you can really start, um, you know, selling like, like you should be, because right now, like I said, there's a lot of holes and gaps. And so you want to eliminate those as soon as possible. Okay. So if you're interested, feel free to click the, the button at, uh, at the bottom of the email that says book a call. And I look forward to speaking with you soon, okay? Thank you so much, Asaf. Take care. Bye-bye.